Welcome to Whip It Thursdays. Right now, rocking solo till the other guys get in. Uh, Cannon should be here about eight o'clock Eastern. And I got plenty to work on. I've been playing around with my 3D printer. Uh, some of the really cool files that Cannon's made for me, and some of the stuff I found online, and some of the stuff he's able to modify for me. I got those Omni Man heads printed up, and they turned out really nice. And that statue we found uh, that he cut the neck off of. And I want to do some mods too to get the fit because uh, it took me a little trial and error to get the right size. I think this is the size I'm going to go with with uh, on those. But I like it. It's a great head sculpt. I need to. Open up the neck socket a little bit more, or cut out the chin, and cut down the back of the head so it'll fit on the figure a little better. But, you know, I got plenty of swords. These take, I went ahead and just printed a bunch, bunch of them to be safe because you don't matter how many you got on your build plate, it's going to take 10 to 12 hours because they're so long. Uh, so I did a bunch of them. I am going to do what I've seen several people do. I bought two angels. And I'm going to give one of them speedballs here. What's up? this for invincible it's on there pretty good name of hell's in the house hello hello and uh, the angels and angels got the hair flowing through I've seen the best hair to use, uh, which is hard to get a hold of the head now, is the two pack Havoc. It's not as big as this hair, but this is still a good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the stuff in the angel. You got the new wings. These are really well done. There's actually dry brush. Well, it looks almost like dry brushing on here. It's like their plastic is molded in almost like an ivory color. And then dry brushed white over top of that. These are nice. Three segments on each wing. They fold down pretty nice. And a hinged joint here. I like them. Yeah, the speedball head could definitely work for Invincible. I got four that I got another one here somewhere. Yeah, definitely don't have the windswept look on the hair. So it's fine hair sculpt, but I got two of these, so I'd kinda like one a little different and not really wanting to use the smiling head. It's kinda weird they did the uh, crest down going down past the sculpt. 
feel the bridge of the nose. Is the Vulcan body too big for Invincible? And it, it depends on what scale you're going to make Omni Man. Uh, early on, Invincible, probably yeah, but as the series gets runs, he does get uh, he does get older and more muscular. If you want to look more like a uh, first appearance of Invincible, you've, the Sunfire Mold would probably be the best bet. Plus, there's enough parts you can do some swapping out to and get close to the colors you need for this to make it invincible. That's pretty cool. This is a Vulcan variant, which the arms and legs are all Vulcan with a new torso. No butterfly joint. Just because there would have been room for it in the back the wings of the butterfly joint. Let's see. Some of these they really glued down. Am I going to look up? Ooh. I think I'm going to be a lucky one if it's I saw the other ones when they took the hair off. There's glue underneath that hair, and I don't think there's any glue there. It's all up on the dome. Sweet. Yep, I'm going to like that. I like the color of that, too. This is more cartoony yellow versus more like a natural sandy blonde. I like it. Let's heat these up and start pulling some hair. <clears throat> kind of thinking this would be a good base for Omni Man. Hercules, buddy. Of, I ordered a couple of Hercules buddies from Big Bad Toy Store last week. They have not arrived yet. Good evening. I have arrived. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Is it 
Mm. I feel like I may have wasted this whole entire thing of fabric because I cut it too thin. I won't have a purpose or reason for it. How come you didn't add yourself? Uh, no idea. Let me, uh, let me try this again. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the hole's a little more centered, but actually, it should, uh, Heinz, we should have moved it back farther because that chin moved the ball like it backwards. Need to eat a little dinner. It was a little late because of shenanigans. <clears throat> oh. Get that out of the way. Oh. Doing everything. Can everybody see what's going on over here? I can see. All right, what am I working on? It's I'm feeling, good. I'm feeling off angel hair. Keep off pretty clean. A little bit on the sides here. Hair swap on one of my angels. This is a so if there's a clock and he's eating dinner, right? Mm hmm. But he's still hungry. What does it do? Uh, no idea. It goes back for seconds. <laughs> but yeah. Dad that's joke like, of the night. That's, that's his favorite joke right now. Nope. 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 Start to come off. What happened to uh, Hulk Smash? He's just uh, he's having issues with connecting as a co host. More of that glues. Good stuff. said that uh, I can't get it looking as good, but I'm going to take another run at it. Although, I think Best Lee's vest is the best on the market right now. 
And I don't think his is. Uh, I'm sorry, what now? Truly beating out the vinyl one. But I think it's uh, good enough. And I do have a guy, he wants me to make him one, so I'm going to go ahead and pattern one out and see if I can make it work. Get one that I can live with. I can also do a little painting on my Robbie Ray stuff. Did you watch the Transformers 1 trailer? Yeah, I did. It seems cutesy. Seems like it's made for... Uh, oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's meant for little kids. Definitely not me, but I mean, you know, that's fine. But it still looks like it'd be fun enough for parents won't be totally out of it to go watch it. <clears throat> there have been so many. So many stories about that time period. Yeah. A lot of people were going to be like, I understand the IW, though. Yeah. I understand the disappointment a lot of people were wanting basically like the beginning of the bubble me movie where you had cybertron battle scene like in uh, movie format yeah uh, i understand i understand that too i really yeah. do but also too understand hey we need to get kids watching or future generations still interested in transformers yeah i'm not gonna be here forever and i don't make enough money to completely fun this whole thing so yeah it's like uh some of the third party companies are starting to cater to uh, unicron trilogy fans and like the uh, fan hobbies it's like which makes sense because that's 20 years old now and those fans are now older and have disposable income <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe oh my god maybe oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this is this is uh, <laughs> they just gotta eat ramen noodles and, and, and something by their transform Yeah, without new people, without new blood, without getting fresh money on it, it's just gonna die and ain't nobody gonna have it no more. Yep. Cause let me assure you, corporations are in it for the money. They ain't in it just to make a, a good story. Oh yeah. Hmm. Is that My niece was very impressed with how quickly I whipped together that Kong shoe. Kong shoe. It looks great. She's like, it took you no time at all. I was like, well, two hours. Yeah. 
everything's delayed tonight. Too low. Alright. Here we go. The Dapper Dan haircut hairstyle or the pink whip hair. <laughs> Who is Damper Dan? Is he the king of Dandy Dan? Yep. Did you just get the angel today? I got him last week. I just just opened one up and was like, I bought two of them. Yeah. I've seen other people do this hair swap. Uh, the better hair swap is to use Havocs, but that, figure, that head's hard to get a hold of now. Which hair is this one you're using? Speedball. Oh, okay. It's a little big, but it'll, it'll be fine. Yeah, I saw him in Ollie's yesterday. When I was picking up a few figures for fodder. <sighs> the other head sculpt's not really good for flying poses because your hair would, his hair should be windswept but they like doing windswept hair but for some reason they didn't do windswept hair on angels yeah. on either yeah, head sculpt I don't get that it's like at least one of the heads use a different hairpiece. Well, it's like what they did with the uh, the Miss Marvel that's coming out, the Warbird. You got one one looks wet, sweat, the other one just looks static. You know, it's like yeah, they could have done that. Or what gets me though is when they do a windswept hair to a character that's not even a flyer. I know, like the Maestro. Yeah, his hair is freaking as windswept as hair can get. He's a jumper. He's a jumper, yeah. yeah he jumps up and down, not to the side. Or he looks to the side to avoid the, the, the wind in his face. So, Don, did you know that did you know that we're pretty stoked against Gar? I must have heard it how many times on the stream? It's almost like they've been listening. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, sorry, I didn't understand you there for a second. Yeah. Danny Cat and Scar. How, do, how does he look? Does he look good? Who's Scar? Yeah, I will send you pictures. No, I mean I know you. I know you. I, know you. I, know you. I the things that I know about Scar is that uh, it's from World War Hulk. No, 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 Planet Hulk, and it's from that chick, the Earthbound chick. The yeah, her son, and that's it's pretty much the queen. Yeah. The old, the the, uh, the old strong. Yeah, as long as he's touching the earth, he's like crazy. Yeah. But uh, like I said, he's not really he's not really in my wheelhouse. I got is a picture of him standing next to Iron Man. <laughs> does he One look? Sec. Does he look good? Does he? Do y'all think he's a? Uh... Yeah, yeah, he's, I think he's, he's good size. Good size, everything. I was actually surprised they tooled a whole new upper torso for him. New upper torso and arms. They're using Caliban lore. I don't have friends. I don't have friends. Sorry for cutting you off. The, they're using the Caliban lower body and all new upper 
of her uh, torso and arms. And yeah, like we discussed too, that uh, he can du- he can double hold uh, double fist the sword. So those butterfly joints is working really good there. Sectors in the house. Evening, fellas. Uh, Ad hoc, are you happy they made Scar? Yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, name withheld that 90s Ghost Rider. Oh, yeah, looks uh, small. Yeah, you know what? Uh, me and uh, old kind of hurts my feelings. He calls him that 90s Ghost Rider. Yeah, he look he he could he should be a little bigger, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain because that's like an all new every, everything about that's an all new sculpt, so except for the head, they're using the same head. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it was 95 percent. Which uh, that Danny Ketch has narrow shoulders, but possible fix. Greetings, evening. Good morning. Yeah, I mean, you can always nitpick anything. Nothing's gonna be perfect. If it was perfect, they couldn't sell you another one. Yeah. yeah. Well. I think they did a really good job. I think it it hits all the high notes that I wanted it to hit. I'm super excited. The front, I don't like the front shield though on the bike. No, the bike. Oh yeah, Um, we got a better looking bike already. Yep. Uh. Did anybody see what I did here? With, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. For the Ghost Rider, I kind of hope that these might do a kit. Like Roman Toys did with the Batmobiles, do a front windshield and a new head sculpt for the Ghost Rider. It's why they left the window, like the headlights out of the front shield is like weird. And they put so much battle damage on that front shield. It, lo- it also makes it look odd. Alpha Proto says, uh, about Scar, his mom was gray and his dad was green. So he's a mix of both colors. In the photos, the figure looked too green. But in the video, he looked the right shade. We shall see. I think it's that's one of those colors that it, the green and the gray kind of like can go either way depending on the light. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scar is pretty much just a Conan version of Hulk. <laughs> no friends, I'll be your friend, Dom. <laughs> well, uh, Scar is like one of the few characters that Marvel has that can actually uh, do like t- uh, 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 is a well, right say uh, like he's a Earth, well, let's say an earthbender. <laughs> it's part of the old stone. Yeah. Part. He inherited his mother's powers along with his father's. Yeah. He's got the power of the Hulk and the old stone power. So, if they didn't already show Scar, that rock would actually fit him, too. <laughs> oh, that's true, too. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're all captain because uh, yeah. he thought both uh, his uh, queen and his children died. Yeah. Yeah, he had a massive case when he had asked about that. He had the whole, whole storyline. Uh, well, yeah, he 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 thought his uh, wife and unborn child uh, died. Turns out, as a fetus, he lived and. Uh, just stated outside of the body. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, that, that's how they basically explained it. He, uh, he survived as a fetus, but he didn't know about the other brother, the, I guess, what would we call him, fraternal twin? But she actually had two kids inside of her. 
Uh, it's crazy that they're not charging 350 for that motorcycle yet. <laughs> this motorcycle should have come with that $350 car. How much are they charging for the Hell Cycle? 50 bucks. Oh, well, that seems reasonable, I guess. Yeah, it's, uh, I was surprised because the last Rider series was like 56 or something like that. And this is 49.99. On the discard, Collector Express showed a picture of Scar. Wait, did that thing pop up for pre-order and I miss it? Or no. Not, uh, not until the 30th, I think, right? Yeah. 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 <sighs> hey, don't attack my 40-year-old heart like that. I showed a picture of uh, a no ideal Scar had a, a depowered form. Yep, he can transform just like the, the Hulk. Yeah. Which which makes zero sense. He has gray skin like his mother. Uh, they had that horrible storyline with the uh, Doc Green storyline. I hated that where he, they depowered all the other gamma powered uh, characters, except yeah. for the Hulk and Jennifer Walters. Then they end up killing the Hulk soon after that. The um, he powered Star. For some reason, he turned into a human. He's only half human. He's half human and half of a race his mother was. They showed his depowered form. He's gray, like his mom. Yep. Yep. But some reason he depowered, dropped off in France with a stack full of money, and he looked human as can be. And he looked even he was older. The only the only thing that should have happened to him if the Hulk degammatized him is he should have just turned into a kid, but still had the gray the gray skin. And the mother's powers, so I don't understand how the hell they who thought that up. But yeah, like what 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 are they trying to say that the gamma you take away the gamma and you take away the the half of them that is his mother's? That's just stupid. Well, he couldn't actually. What they did too, the deep power scar wouldn't even work because it's part of his DNA makeup. It's because yeah. he was conceived as the Hulk. Yeah. But see, this is the thing. The only, the only part, the only part of him that the gamma affects is the growth and the strength. Yeah. You know, like he should still have his mother's powers, and just as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Alpha says, "What the heck?" There's another. Yeah, there's a, there's a second brother. Uh, except he's not. He took after the mother. Like yeah, he did, he didn't completely. get the uh, Hulk powers, and he was yeah insane. He, he's tiny, but he's 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 got the old uh, the old strong power. But yeah, he kind of went a little nuts. I had no idea. Uh, Fifty dollars with a figure. Yeah, yeah. The the motorcycle is uh, gonna be fifty with uh, with Dan Ketch. The U.S. obviously not here. I'm gonna be paying a lot more than that up here. And Marvel don't follow their own continuity. Yep. Uh, I have the first issue of Scar, but I didn't get the rest. You should uh, read up on it. It was a it was an interesting story. Like leading leading up from until uh, uh, he met up with his father on Earth. It's funny how Bruce Banner trained him trained him to try to kill the Hulk. Yep. Oh, that's not mine. But uh, Banner always underestimates the Hulk. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers. If you're gonna read it, go ahead. Isn't that story like 15 years old or something? Soon on that? If not yeah. more, but yeah, it's pretty old. <laughs> I don't know why I like the story. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that big bad horse for exclusive. 
Figure. Which one? Which the one? one? What big bad torch? Oh, that figure. What is that? No idea. Did you see that other uh, guy with the skeleton face and the big sight? <clears throat> No. You didn't see that what one? What you got? Where's that? I figured you would have. I think you posted a picture of him a while back. He's got like a skeleton face, but and hair, or it looks like a skeleton mask. I'm not sure. But I just saw uh, 5K. 5K put it on their Instagram feed. Is he in my story right now? I think he's referring to that winged guy that you're excited for. Uh, Ilida? Oh. But if you mean that, uh, I put it in my story. They just like did a, a picture of the test shot, and he's looking, he's looking good. What head sculpt is that? Uh, old? Very exciting. That is Omni Man. Oh. Um. Marvel seems like they don't know what to do with the Hulk. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, Namath Hulk says I might have to get Scar uh, just because he's a barbarian Hulk. He's a he's a cool character. Plus that figure looks amazing. That's just man, a big a big figure like that can hold a sword with both hands. So that goes to tell you. If they wanted to, they they can they can do some uh, some pretty good looking figures. Which uh, Arius is talking about Hulk Smash about it, but it's very tempting to get an extra one of those. For um, I re need to redo my blue and red Final Form Prime <laughs> and the lower body's Caliban scar. My boots I've already been started working on with the. Uh, Will work. And I'm gonna have a prime with butterfly joints. Yeah, that'd be great. But I'm wondering. I was kind of curious if the from the bike are the biceps compatible with those new shoulders? Because that's the only thing I don't like about Scar. The arms look funny. They get that. The biceps look short. And they got the swivel elbows, which I know why they did that. So make it raise that more articulation. So you can hold the sword with your hands. Yeah. You know, I'll take it. <laughs> Even though, just because of that reason, like, I mean, it'd be cool to just play one with the, one with the angrier face with fists, and then the calmer face with the weapon holding hands. And that, I'm getting two for sure. <coughs> Now, remember what we were talking about? We need a Hulk with thunder clapping hands. Even if it's an, an extra attachment just to add on to the biceps or, or you know what I mean? I, it can even be like plugged in from the shoulders. I think that would be easier right there. Well, I'm about a She-Hulk. I thought you were going, oh, you, oh, yeah. You bought the whole box set in case, didn't you? Yeah, I bought the whole box set in hopes that uh, it gets shipped to me faster. Uh, is that the, the Zabu? No, uh, She-Hulk. Which? Uh... Iron Man Wave. The Iron Man Wave. Yeah, yeah, okay. But uh, I got no interest in the She-Hulk. I believe I found a, a good home. 
I think so. Make sure no harm comes to her. That's good pit. Taking good care of. Good scale. Pit's good. Fan, we've missed the fan hitting the, the like, oh, you missed that only when it oscillates around, yeah. I can stop that. There you go. <laughs> These Omnia man heads turn out great, Ken. Well, uh, good. All I did was chop it off. Oh, the Coke guy. Yeah, he, yeah he his, up. his sculpts for this look great. I think it's the best looking Mommy Man head I've seen on there, though, even the compared to the paid ones. Yeah. Like, the guy can. The guy's good, whoever he is. Yep. And here you go, Hork Smash. There's your Rocky Marcelino head. Oh. What's uh what skill what skill figure does that put on? Uh what size did I print this? I think it would work on the gung ho body. How tall was he? Would that fit on the NECA? How big a boy are you? Oh, yeah, it should fit on the NECA, I think. Because this is a seven inch tall figure. A NECA Rocky figure? I don't have one, but I can uh, put it. Probably the same size as the. Uh... I printed another one that's slightly bigger, but it had an issue. Is we got a like a canvas that looked like, what was there? like it looked like it slipped off the plate for a second or something other, and there's a line, there's a lined slayer right in the middle of the sculpt. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think these arm holes are. Uh... I can print you a couple of these and for different scales. Okay. Thank you. I think, Both I think this one's... I forget. That's 16 and a half or something like that. There's almost, almost 17 millimeters wide. Mm -hmm. Calibers are upstairs. You want to use mine? They're right here. Uh, yeah, here, hold, here, I'll hold still. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, this says, you know. You will. Get that hair piece there. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> hmm. A bit too long. That looks about right. I guess the mason on the neck is a little short. <clears throat> I 
I thought the conchu you're working on there, John, that looked pretty good, man. Oh, I'm going to uh, box that thing up. Yeah, that looked really good. I wanted that figure, but I didn't want to collect all the figures in that wave. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh no, I was saying I wanted that Conchu figure, but I didn't want to collect the entire wave for it, so I said forget it. That's the body on that is the uh, Universal Mummy glow in the dark. Oh, so it's just the head. Oh, nice. The neck, the head came off of a, a third party. Mr. Knight figure I got. I had decided I wanted to keep it for myself, but after it sat in my room for over a year in here, I was like, I guess I really don't care about it. Arms need to be bigger. And the chest needs to be wide. And uh, put some clear nail polish on the that's to keep it from scuffing or the magnets are underneath the paint. But I think my nail polish is went bad. It's not hardening. Plus it made it a little bit too thick. They were not seeding on properly. I was wondering where it was. I thought I saw sparks there. Clean off the nail polish off the magnets. I was like, Dad, what kind of resin are you using, man? <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Jeez. <laughs> I saw sparks. I was like, am I seeing things? There we go. It's like been snug. Redid the the feet. I got them a uh, coat of silver on right now. It's like the took some green stuff and built up the, between the gap between the boot and the ankle area. Yeah, Just wasn't digging how that was looking. That was that was a select ultra on feet, right? Yeah, they're right. So they fit scale wise. Just they were dished out too much. The Compared to these feet, yeah. You pronounce some Carl Weathers heads too. Oh, nice. Hmm. Are you making a uh, Dylan? Yep. Which I got a um, basically a Dylan already. I'm just going to paint these heads up to match. I use the version one uh, roadblock heads with a gung ho hat and another space go <clears throat> get them black stripped off the other night uh, the zero body name of thoughts asking did you put the magnets of the shoulders without affecting the joint or how did you sorry oh uh i basically just uh, 
cut a hold uh, the diameter of the magnet, sunk it down, then use I used fix it sculpt and sculpt it back over it. So then paint it really over. Because those magnets yeah. are tiny. So. Oh, they're they're pretty good size. I, I used some of like that. Okay. On the traps up here, in there. <laughs> Sorry, I know I went right here. So I'm uh, trying to do precision work here. <clears throat> I need a little focus. All right. So I can just take my shoulder pad. Get it right side up. All right, so it's not coming off. The bigger, the V is bigger on the neck. And also got the, uh, magnets in the hips too. We should be good to go. Oh, and the head right here. Also a magnet. So I can put that on. You can see you get it so far. Snaps right on. I got a took one of these heads I got uh, from Norman Art. This is a bit too big for this one, but I shaved all the hair off of it and I put a little green stuff in the back just to make it fit just right, so don't wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Still needs a little bit in the sun, but. So we buy everything that they announced on the fifteenth. Do what? <clears throat> Are we buying everything they announced on the fifteenth? No, uh, I was more excited with for the Miss Marvel when I first saw her, but get looking at the closer pictures, it's kind of ugly. The body looks terrible. It's, it does. It does the body looks too? The, the if, if they hadn't made the chest as small as they did, the butterfly it would have it would have healed a lot of stuff. Yeah, the the butterfly joints look bulbous because they made the, they made a choice to make her bus size too small, and well, we can't have her happy Kirby. <laughs> and not to mention, it looks weird though the the up the the curvature and, of the upper torso compared to the lower torso, and then the hips. It just looks like yeah. a snowman. You know what I mean? It's like three yeah. different sizes. Well, they also too the weird thing they did with the boots. They made all new legs for for those new boots because it's the boots are sculpted. Why didn't they just? And I know it's like the the thigh swivels down here instead of up high like they usually do. Yeah. Well, why didn't you just make it recess down into the boot? Or you've never seen the thigh swivel. They've done it before. Uh, the first extreme Iron Man does that. Yeah. Because yeah. now, if you turn the if you turn the thigh swivel, yeah, okay, the boot the boot is still sculpted, so it doesn't look bad. But at the same time, it, it just it's a very look awkward. yeah, it's a very visible line. Yes. Water in them goggles now. <laughs> name without says okay thanks for uh thanks got some small magnets have to start using them oh magnets are really cool to incorporate in your customs yeah you 
Cannon, you're going to have to let us talk a little bit. I'm sorry, I'll... Uh... <laughs> I thought we got the muting there for a minute. <clears throat> you got a word in it, edge was... Anybody watch the Fallout series? Not yet. I'm still on the outs with Amazon Prime over the commercials. Oh. I only had just paid the extra three bucks and got rid of the commercials. Says the movie Ironheart does that. I think we're talking about the boot still. Oh yeah, yeah. They could have done that easily with or the design of the boot. You could have hid the swivel by res yeah. you can process exactly. it into the boot. But no, they said not to. At Collect Express, greetings all. How's everyone today? Hope all is well. Doing just fine, sir. We're starting to work on your space ghost right now. Name without says, thought it captured the essence of Fallout pretty good. I've never played the game, and uh, if somebody never played the game, I kind of didn't know if anything's accurate or not, but I thought it was pretty good. To so, yeah, I've never played the game either. So, comics <clears throat> <sighs> at Collection Express, Space Ghost. Uh, Omega Weapon 3. Is any of y'all watching Shogun? I have not started watching that yet. I remember the old show of the 80s. They had that mini series. That was pretty brutal. I don't know of it. Yeah, it was a, I don't know, just a kid watching that. It was a, a mini series in the 80s, I believe, called Shogun. I'm guessing this is just a remake of that. But... Alrighty. The first connection point is always the toughest one because you need a third hand. <laughs> the whole. <clears throat> I thought about buying one of those helping hands. But uh, I'm not sure how good that work. You're great for painting. But not for hacksawing. I don't know if they'd be strong enough for that. Name of those is you need Doc Ock arms. Yeah. At least one of them. <laughs> I'll see if I can get that done when I get my carpal tunnel surgery done. So can you give me like a robotic arm so I can just extra one? Yeah, just, just 
just have it coming out of the middle of my back. Not oh, make sleep so hard. Look about right. Uh, looks good. A little too wide at the bottom. Maybe need to come in a pinch. Yeah, maybe tighten that up a little bit, no? Yeah, I think so. I uh I linked in the V neck and the oh the shoulder the the shoulder holes are gonna be a lot bigger. And then uh We'll tighten up the uh and then with those this looks good. Nice. Towards the bottom. <clears throat> Appreciate. I don't know what that noise was. It sounded like a Klingon bird of prey going in the cloak. What was that? Might have been the car driving by my house. They got the cloaking devices on the cars? I wish that wouldn't be so loud. hard to get on and off of it. Oh, did you get glue on your finger from that helmet earlier? Uh, that's resin. Oh, okay. I was wondering why your finger I got, has been so shiny oh, the whole day. I have psoriasis, so stuff like that, just yeah. my skin's always messed up. So, stuff sticks to know, me like that. I noticed the shine there. I was like... Figure, uh, no, this is zero. Zero. Oh, okay. Those Black Panther figures, the well, the, I, don't, I don't know what they those guards. They were going for pretty cheap up here on Amazon. Like, yeah, problem with those, the they got different forearms. They got sculpt on the forearms and the boots, yeah. lower legs. So need the smooth arms and legs. I'll end up putting, cut down some Hercules gauntlets for it, the bracers. Yeah. But, uh, and so those so ladies, family for family. Family, 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 family. <clears throat> I 
Anybody get their Scarlet yet? Yep. You got her? I uh, did. You didn't get Duke yet? Yep. They came in the same box. Oh, okay. The last time you talked, I thought you were still waiting for them. What show were they all from? Uh, some... Show. I don't know if you heard of it or not. Oh, it doesn't sound familiar. <clears throat> I got it. I got hey, it. Too. Do you with my, uh... A little purple thing. Mm -hmm. I need it. I saw that uh, Sweeney girl got cast as uh, Black Cat in the MCU. Who? Sweeney Sweeney. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she was just in that, uh, that Madam Web. Madam Web movie. Well, she's in the Sony movie, and now she's going to be in the actual MCU. Yeah. You know, I heard she's been getting a lot of slack by people, so. Whatever. Oh, the fan base is the fan base likes her. Yeah. She's like, yeah. It's the prudes that don't like her. Uh, she's she's done quite a few movies at her at a young age, right? So yeah. Obviously, uh, impressing people. Yeah, uh, name was out. She was, uh, she was in, uh, Madam Web. I don't know which girl she played. I can't remember the different, uh... She was supposed to be, uh, Jessica Drew, but they never had them become different powers in the movie. Just yeah. like a... They showed a flash, uh, like, I guess, remember when... Did it, you watch that, the movie? That's only, like, a few seconds in the movie, Leah. Yeah, that mm. his nightmare basically. Oh. He kept on uh, having that same nightmare that these girls were all ganging up on him, and they—that's the only time they actually show the powers that they're supposed to possess. So, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, what, all right, what Gary, you if you're though? watching, you need to send me your address on Instagram so I can print this out and send it to you. What? Mail stuff. Hey, you got uh, crack cow mafia in the house? You know what that means. Family, 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 family. Yeah. 
I got some stuff that needs to go out if you're uh, in the mood. Yeah, Nima thought she was she was the blonde. I didn't watch the movie because it looks stupid. Once I heard too, nobody has powers except for the Madam Web character and the villain. What's the point? A spider, uh, the superhero movie where nobody's a superhero except for Madam Web. And who thought doing a movie about Madame Web was going to be a good idea? Character that yeah. nobody cares about. I don't know. I've watched one. Did you watch this one? <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. No, but for real, for real, like, if they did, like, the Madam Web, like, from the animated series, I, I'd love to get that. And actually, have some, and actually have some spider people in there that actually have power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how it is. Put some people in there that I care about. Crack Cow says, I want to see the new Godzilla movie. Which one? Oh, the... the I would assume the... Kong? Uh, Kong, Kong and uh, Zilla together fighting the, the Red Ape, who's actually a wimp. Capital B-I-T-C-H. I still gotta watch it. And what's the, what's the other one, uh, the Godzilla movie that you guys were? Minus one. Yes, that's the one. I heard that was a really good movie. Yep, it was a really good one. That's probably one of the best Godzilla movies in a long time. It's long. actually it's it's a good story, and Godzilla's not the hero. He, he is a monster, and that's straight up monster in that one. It's more. Uh, like into the original Godzilla movie. The unique take on this uh, atomic blast too, his breath. It actually creates a basically a nuclear bomb. The impact point, you get a shockwave like a nuclear explosion. explosion. That makes sense, right? Yep. A lot of... Uh... A lot of good in that movie. Mm-hmm. Did you guys watch it on? Uh, you watch it on? Is it on, on any of the stream uh, streaming services? Or? You can watch it on the website, but uh, I watched it in the theater. Yeah. I wouldn't want to miss that that experience. Yeah, you have to read it, but it's really not that bad. It's paced really well, or you can. It's not sl uh, slow or it's like a dumb story. It's, it's very, it's an emotional story but without having to say too many words. You got so, a uh, soldier dealing with like PTSD, PTSD and survivor's guilt. He was supposed to be a kamikaze pilot and he checking taken out. And on the, Island, he stopped that to like tell him his plane broke down, uh, saying it's malfunctioning, and that's Godzilla attacks that uh, island. He's much smaller than when he attacks the island, but like T Rex size.
definitely would like to see some of the shield is a separate piece on the, the ghost rider bike so it slides in, in that slot so definitely would let's see somebody make a replacement because it's not a good looking shield yeah, oh. they stylized it too much it didn't stick to the artwork and for some reason didn't put the headlights in The, the battle damage has me puzzled though because doesn't is when the bike transforms isn't it like uh, like a different entity sort of thing like, I don't get the battle yeah damage. the battle damage would not stay on it it's that, that's what I'm saying it would it has a healing vector just like Ghost Rider yeah the supernatural it will self repair that's why the battle damage I don't get. Okay. Name of Fields asking, was there ever a plan for a crossover of Godzilla and Pacific Rim? No. I'd watch it. They, I don't think they ever planned it, but I'd watch it because he would destroy those kaiju. <laughs> I've never watched any of the Pacific Rim movies. Well, I've only watched the first one. Yeah, don't waste your time with the second one. Watch the first one and then watch the cartoon on Netflix, The Black. It's yeah, kind of messed up. Um... Kind of messed Jeffrey. up. All right, how you doing? <laughs> how, how you, you doing? Jeff? How you how doing? doing? I just don't doing. like... I don't like, like, they set out this rule, you know, that only certain people can drift. Mm -hmm. And all the preceding, the next movies that came out, they're all like, oh, well. Yeah. Even yeah, in the well. last one, you know. If you want to learn how to drift, all you got to do is go see Little Bow Wow in Tokyo. Yeah. Go to Brampton. Wait, what? <laughs> go to Brampton. <laughs> That? You go to Brantham? <laughs> yeah. Be warned. <laughs> Make sure your insurance is up to date. Leave your key fobs by the front door. Yeah. Did you guys see that other one I sent where the guy waiting in the car with the drinks? With the refreshments? Yeah. I'm so glad you chose my car. <laughs> Have some tea. Jeffrey says I started working on a custom Snake Eyes figure. Uh, was using a torpedo body. Oh, cool! That'd be more like a classic Snake Eyes. Yeah. I'm still. Uh, now we're getting the that new beachhead body. They can use that to do the uh, black, blue, and red sneak eyes. The one with the red visor and the blue like sweater, like uh, like beachhead, and black pants. Beachhead is a Joe, right? Yes. Yes. He's one one of the uh, ranking officers too. I can't remember for a second. I was like, "What the hell?" The command structure in GI Joe is basically General Hawk, Duke, and Flint are equally equally tiered than uh, Sergeant Slaughter and Beachhead. Jeffrey says, cool thing, I'm using an old head cast of uh, Snake Eyes I got a long time ago to, differ to differentiate uh, the custom and the stock one. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, I, made, uh, I made one right before uh, Classified came out on a, a bucket cap on the uh, Black Panther Walmart figure. 
all black and I used some head pull gear and a head I got from a long time ago, I think from Casting Cave. Yeah, you set the bar high with that custom. And it, oh, and the uh, the belt was from, uh, I think you gave me the belt. Uh, and that trade so many years ago when I first, first made those customs for you. Yeah, I, 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 I your belt. I gave you a ton of stuff. I remember, like all loose fodder and yeah, actual sealed figures too. Uh, name snob says, uh, um, "Ever start a custom? Start to question or doubt the direction, but still try to keep going, hoping that it'll it'll feel it by that I'll feel it by the time I get close to finish." That's where I'm at right now. Yeah, it's happened. Oh, name with health says, and roadblock. Is he a commanding officer on the Joes? Uh, on the old, old series, it was, those were the top ranks, but I don't know about the roadblock. They've changed stuff in, in the years, so after so many years. Us, and that was like the real American hero, like uh, order for a uh, command after he introduced Sarge. Uh, Jeffrey says I got the the cast from eBay. I don't remember the seller, but he was he was known for selling a Red Hood head cast. Oh, the Snake Eyes, yeah. Um, Going back to this one, name snob. Uh, yeah, I've done a few customs where I started working on it. I didn't like it, but it kept on going. And then it was just like a couple of them I actually just stopped and put them away. And then hoping I would get either another idea. Like I actually did that with some of the customs I'm working on right now. And I actually had help from Commandant here. Because I decided on a different strategy for the one custom, a different idea, and he helped me out with some soft goods. So yeah, it, you know what it is. Sometimes, it, if you put it away and work on something else, maybe you either get the feeling or you decide on a different direction to go with that custom. Keep customizing the though, man. Uh, Jeffrey's asking, what was the deal with Roadblock and Heavy Duty? Was Heavy Duty Roadblock's replacement? Uh, I have no idea. I think they ended up making Heavy Duty a relative to Roadblock. But uh, I think it was a lot of legal issues or with the name or something other at the time. We got the... That's looking good already. Uh, a little upset Big Bad Twice for did that with the uh, Joe Fixer. Yeah, double the price on it. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, really? I as much as I like the figure, I don't like it that much. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not a $60 figure. No, definitely. When I saw I sent you the link, it was in stock. I didn't notice it was a. Uh, oh, worth I got it. Oh, yellow. Hello. What happened? 
Uh, Hit the back button. Like um, Blender did something in my computer. Said no. He's like, I don't, I don't think, think so. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Like I don't think so. You're having to start over. You need a reboot? All right. No. We heard you want to reboot. No. We're rebooting the computer. Jeffrey says I did. I did also got started on a, working on a custom super scroll using Endeavor body from McFarlane. Now I just need to repaint the body and need to get the thing's arms. Oh, that's cool. Uh, name stuff. Yeah, I got a project I'm working on using the retro card symbiote Spidey, uh, but now I'm thinking of going back to a buck with no butterfly or uh, drop pips. Oh. Did you get the address for the person who won this? Uh, no, he never contacted me. No. Never heard heard from the guy that won Thundra or uh, that one. How are they supposed to get your stuff? Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, uh, I thought of what to do with the... If you ever get back on that panel. I'll have to send you pictures of the LP1 Octopus Prime had a Megatron he can hold. To make it work in his hand, the actual handle like slid to drop down that grip. So it actually like clear the hand. Like drops out the bottom. Yeah, the, uh, I think I got one somewhere here. Oh. So that this part just comes out. It's the extra. Yeah, you know, the back piece is removable. And uh, the grip is left. Somebody shoved Wolverine on the ship. <laughs> well, got the healing factor. He'll probably be all right. Yeah. So this uh, came with a really old uh, third-party figure. A Megatron. It's, it's shrunken down version of LP1 gun. Let me pull it out of his hand. So the... That slides into a notch on the back. And see how the, the handle does here? Uh -huh. It makes it where you figure you can actually grip it. This is I heard it. it's not about where you grip it. Grip it. Grip it good. So you can actually take everything off this and have just a base gun. I might stop working on this until we actually hear back from that guy and get an address for it. Yeah, that'd probably be a good deal. Other, otherwise, there's, there's no point working on something that nobody's going to claim. Name without saying in the original series it was Hawk, Duke, Flint, Sergeant Slaughter, Beachhead, and Roadblock. There was an episode where Cobra hacked the Joes and mentioned the rank structure. Mm hmm. Uh, 
name Snob says I'll probably use it for something else, but I think I'm gonna drop it for now. <laughs> Jeffrey, if I were to splice a movie Venom torso onto a Warpath body, would it make it top heavy? Because I had plans to make a custom forearms from Ben 10. Uh, shouldn't. That's about the same size. It'd be a little thicker torso, but I think it should be fine. Uh, by any chance, does anyone have or know of someone with a busted Marvel Legends anti venom? I just need the arms to finish this one project. That's a white Hyperion, buddy. With longer forearms. Yeah. Uh, Christian Sepulveda is asking, Collector Express, I see your customs with the Juggernaut bootleg of that press and bought one. Uh, my question is how to fix the next peg. The neck peg is so too short. Uh, what, what I end up doing is putting uh, elevating the head with O-rings. Uh, let's see. Let me grab one. Let me pick up screen. Oh, don't do it yet. I haven't got it yet. Oh, okay. Too late. Well, go back the other way. <laughs> it's on the figures on the other side of the room. Here's a good example. The kill uh, out back. When you get the figure, the head does not sit up this high. It is down, his beard is basically touching the top of his pecs. What I did, I glued in a stack of O-rings underneath to raise it up. So now you get a little bit gap on the sides but his head is actually can move look up down and sit up at a proper height that's the only thing i don't like about well not only thing but one of the things i don't like about the 80 anniversary hulk body his neck is almost non-existent do you think when they tooled that new torso up for the uh two-pack yeah they would have addressed that. No. Still got the same issue. And we've got less defined pecs. They're bigger, but they're less defined. Do you, do you happen to have uh, any O-rings lying around close by? Just just in case there's a... Uh, yeah. The language barrier here? These little O-rings. You can get them in multi-packs. I got a link down below for like a, a pack of them. Different sizes. This is one that fits like the whole body really well. It's a 1.78 millimeter uh, and 7.65 outer. I gotta pick some of those up for the hulks that I got too. But these are fit the over top the ball joint on these 80 anniversary Hulk bodies really well. So how how uh, like. Roughly, how many would you stack inside the the, the head there? Mm. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. I don't know. Let's look at this one. It was pretty deep, so I actually stacked up quite a few. Okay, so and that's all you did. You didn't put no no sculpt or nothing in there, did you? No, nope, I just glued it in and hit, just that kept adding glue around it. And just hit it with Insta Set, put some other O ring on, glue it in, 
Build it up. Oh, that's cool. You know why I think they did that with the neck? I have a feeling that they probably thought it would have given the impression of the bigger traps when they could have sculpted the tracks, the traps bigger from behind. Like, yeah. like you I know what know. I'm trying to say? It, it's, it's, it was a weird decision to sink his head down so low. It doesn't make the traps look bigger. It just makes it look like he's got no neck. Yep. And they got no neck on it. Uh, name song. I'm also looking for poison for, for trade. I have plenty. Excuse me, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've been muted this whole time. Oh. The, the boy came in and I had to talk to him. I forgot to unmute myself. Okay. dry brushing paper. Widening out the neck is what I did on my other Space Ghost. You got the Space Ghost has got the thick neck. Cow, well, the cow and, and head looks like it's one piece. I'm trying to pull off that illusion, so make the neck a little wider. It's one thing about this mold, it's got a really thin neck. My son is getting interested in anime. Mm -hmm. I had to go dig him out a book on Parasite. Ah, I know that one. I understood that reference. <laughs> Yeah, they have a new show on Netflix. <clears throat> it's a female, and it's like part of her face. Oh, yeah. I saw that picture. I didn't know if it was uh, out yet, or I know there's. I saw a picture, something about it. I watched an episode of it. It's all right. The uh, the graphics in it are rough. Mm. But if you know that's not what you're into, you know, if, that's, if you can look past that and enjoy the story, it's, it's good. But it comes from a comic book medium, you know, and if you can't look past the art for a good story, then yeah, rough. Comic books got to have one or two things. It's got to have good stories, the main thing. Art, it's great if you have great art, 
but it's not necessary if you have a good story. But it is nice. But if you get when you got, uh, but if you have a bad story and good art, it's still tolerable. But if you don't have either one, just put it down. <laughs> yeah, just put it down. It's my problem with uh, the Ramadas. I don't know that one. John Ramada Jr. Oh, I thought you were talking about this kind of story. Artist. Yeah. Everybody's like, you know, that's like the, the best Spider-Man artist. I'm like, uh. I don't know. I hear a lot of negative empathy about Jr. It's like he's trying to do his dad's style, but it's really hard for me to, to look at it. These really nice Christopher Reeves heads too. Oh, we lost, we lost Hulk Smash. Oh no! Didn't even get time goodbye. I gotta leave here shortly. You'll be popular. to but work demands it. Yep. Hmm. Of course I told my boss I'd do the uh, opening of my new transformer at work so Kind of excited to go to work so you can see that. What transformer did you get? The Lewin Lewin resource. Oh, you got, oh, yeah. you got the big Optimus. Nice. That two foot tall monster. Yeah. It's even, I think it's even over two foot tall, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. once you yeah. open it up, let me know what you think it. Because I was thinking about getting one. It's based on what's interesting is like it's not just based on MP10, it's based on MPP10. Uh, 
the company oversized MP10 to like the size of like the original masterpiece Optimus Prime. Uh, they did Megatron too, and they lengthened the lower leg. One of the things people complain about with MP10 his arms are so long compared to his legs he looks like he's got eight arms so they made his lower legs longer and fixed proportions and it looks great and to me that's one of the best looking Optimus is made was i would wish they would now they would reverse it and shrink it back down to the regular mp size with those longer legs Um, there's a company that made uh, did a third party company that made like a kit for it where you can actually shorten the forearms and they would, like you get some kibble on the forearm. It does help the proportions. I got one of those on my uh, Toys R Us exclusive one. It looks good, but it does add that kibble to it. Oh, plus, MP10 is one of the best looking Optimus Primes. Yeah. They start going yeah. more tune, more tune aesthetic with them later on, and it's like we say, you don't go full tune. You never go full G one tune. <clears throat> anyway, after you open it, let me know what you think of it, because I was thinking about getting one. Yeah, I got high. Uh, one of the big ones. I got high hopes for it. I'm gonna. They got that one, and they got the uh, Pangu. We'll put it Pangu in my uh, room and stack some Marvel Legends on top of it, see if it scales well. I think it's going to scale pretty well with the Marvel Legends with that, that blue one. Uh, let's see. What are y'all's thoughts on the new Scar? It's like, I like it. It's... Uh, would have been nice if we got to get endless lower legs, yes, but there also makes it there a little Caliban, so I'm thinking about getting an extra one for another prime to have butterfly joints. I'm Which, getting two. What don't what I don't understand though, you had an opportunity to sculpt an all new torso. Gave it butterfly joints. Why didn't they do a diaphragm joint? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. Name of Where did you get the joint adapters for the Red Lantern you're working on? Sorry, I don't know the name of the character. The. The. Skullix. Yeah, Skullix. Well, I, I the, the ball joints things. That's what I was trying to think the name of. I don't know. They're Gundam parts. You can actually look for their Gundam ball joints. Uh, I got those, I think, from Hobby Link Japan a long time ago, but you can get them from different hobby stores online you actually they even have them on amazon the thing that i ordered from hobby link japan finally came in what did you order and i had it shipped and it was like 40 dollars for shipping yes it'll be like that sometimes what was it let me find it and I will show you. Okay, you want pictures? Open that thing tomorrow. Yes, he wants pictures. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want to know your opinion. And I want it. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Oh. The Fifteen inches tall. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me that you're going to order that. Yeah. This is uh, similar to the one that I had from way back, but it's a different Gundam. Have you opened it up yet? It will take 
one to seven months to get here. <laughs> oh, I thought you already had it. <laughs> no. One to seven months. Ooh. Jesus. That's what it said. In the that pain. I chose the cheapest shipping method, like like the, the fastest shipping method. I could have had it in like three days, but it would have cost me like uh, my oh, kidneys boy. and a small child. So you paid more for shipping than you paid for the item? So uh, it was $40 for shipping. So I paid okay, almost so you, as much for shipping as I did for the item. You get $100 all in because yeah. shipping. It's a big, big box. Yeah. Well, it's not that big. That's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. Well, you should tell her. Hey, what's those wings? Go back. Other way. Other way. One more. Stop. Here. That there? Oh, it's the whole thing. The whole thing. I thought it was like a wing kit or something. That there is similar, more similar to the one that I used to have. But that's not the one I was. That's like the upgraded version of the one that I had. That's not it. I need to figure out how to sew the hood on before I sew that thing together. Pretty sure that the one that I had was from Gundam Wing. Oryx. Mm. It was this one. It was this one, except that it was uh, like 50 inches or whatever. Well, maybe it didn't have the yellow down the side of it. I think it was this one. So they had the shield and the. But I think on the, the one I had, this was like, uh, like a metal. Like a back metal gold or something. Partly metal, partly real. I don't know, it's been a long time. Oh, yes, sir. He's got the hood on. Hmm. But if you go and you look at the go look at the This one is also 148 scale, so it should mm -hmm. be about. This one's 17.79 inches tall. Almost 18 inches tall. Nice. I don't like the knees on it though. You're ugly. And I also don't like the pink. What? You don't want a pink Gundam? Like. I mean, if you want to get shot at, that's how to do it. Oh, look, it looks good down. Good job, man. I guess there's nothing stealthy about it. You know, four-story tall, giant, flying robot. <sighs> so you're going to get shot at one way. That's one thing I always thought, thought was hilarious on, like, the... the X, I don't know if people are mad at me for saying the original 97 X-Men series... When the Sentinels were hiding behind a building, you know, like following Jubilee in the first episode, yeah, yeah. like sneaking. Hey, dee, dee. <clears throat> How's that work? 
Imagine that thing walking makes enough noise to... Yeah, so this is the, the one I ordered was sixty dollars plus forty dollars shipping. So it ended up being about the same price as this one. So look his hoods down. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, it looks look, nice. His hoods up. Might like be more. Just, oh yeah. Look, his hood today. It works. It works, ladies and gentlemen. That looks really good. Ship it. All right. So I got to get on out of here. I'm going to take a picture of it, send it to the board that requested it. Um, name Slap says I'm trying to find a body for a Disney Elena head, but most bodies don't fit. So now I might be stuck with the stock body, but I'm not sure there's room for improvement. Doesn't fit on any of the. MCU Black Widow bodies. Yeah, the Yelena body is terrible. From the uh, Disney Plus, yeah, the Disney Hawkeye. Plus uh, Hydra Stomper Wave. Yeah, I was thinking of getting her because I like the I like the head sculpt on it. But the head sculpt's great. It's terrible, terrible body. You know what? I think maybe just wait until they release the Thunderbolts version. Because I saw she she uh, she did a uh, little thing with her phone. She a video of her on the set, and she gave us a sneak peek at the new costume she'll be using in Thunderbolts. So I think I'm just gonna wait. Then I was about to buy couple days ago I said uh you know because i do like the head sculpt but that body looks weird i grabbed it because it's cheap on, on uh target and i was going to build it got all the parts to build the build a figure smaller yeah i uh, guess it's supposed to be a more stealthier well i think he's part part of the machine now on that one I didn't watch the show, so I don't know. All right, I said I was going to quit working on this. Until we get an address to ship it. Uh, he says he doesn't have any black little bodies. I'm wondering if, if it would fit one of the MCU widows. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Also, I gotta. Yeah, uh, we're can, we're at the two hour it. mark. We'll we'll just hit uh, call it a night. Yeah, I gotta pack up and get on a plane tomorrow. So. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Hey, even on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. <laughs> well, it's a safe journey. And you have a good uh, for everybody in the chat. Thank you again for. Oh, yes. Uh, grab this for quick. Oh, I was doing the same thing. Anyone excited for the Hulkbuster? Yes, I am very excited if it's going to be the the original Hulkbuster from the 90s. That goes with the modular armor. Yeah. Hopefully if they're... they get that. excited for the Hulkbuster. Like, I ain't sitting in here. <laughs> but, uh, Jeez, great Google mother. But to everybody in the chat, thank you again for coming out and hanging out over the night. We got the Geek uh, Fusion chat tomorrow night. We do Toy News, Toy Talk with uh, myself and uh, Geek Fu uh, Fusion and Queen Comics and JB. And we got the Whip It on Sunday. So we'll catch y'all next time. Good night. Cheers. <laughs>